Hello guys, maybe I should start with, yeah, I should start with that, um, yeah, it's me, uh, I don't want to say a channel name or name at all because I'm not going to use this channel, um, I'm just making this video for a little update because a lot of people had had a problems with the other video, it was fast, I wasn't really explaining that well, and, well, I want to take it over again, I'm just doing this to help you guys, and, there's, there's three things I'm going to talk about, first of all, it's accessing your router, the second thing is port forwarding, and the third thing is service setup. Sorry there. Might get a text. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. So, the first thing we're going to do is open your internet browser. It doesn't matter which one you have. And, well, no, actually, first of all, open up CMD. If you don't know how to do that, on the... On your keyboard, press the Windows logo and R at the same time, and this little box pops up. Um, write in CMD and press OK. Well, you should have administrative. You should have admin rights to do that. This bo this will pop up. Here, you write IP config. Press Enter. Um, it will output a few things here. Let's see if it does. Yep, here we go. And uh, then you look for this standard gateway. Um, mine is 192.168.1.1. It could be different for you, but whatever it is here, mark it like this. Paste it in here and press enter. And this will pop up. Now, often we um, the username, this is username on Swedish, it's admin, whoops, and the password is password. Now, if this doesn't work for you, uh, you'll need to ask, um, well, you're probably your parents, or, you know, you just, you know, ask to support, you know, check up what router you have, ask support, you know, um, or the internet company you have. But you know, once you know, just log in. That's that's like the things that are oftenly on routers, password and username. I have Netgear. It can be different for you. But look for a tab that says Port Forwarding. Now this is the important thing. Don't mind all this I have. Now if you didn't didn't close this, if you did, just type ipconfig again, and look for the IPv4 address. Uh, it could be spelled different because I have I'm Swedish, so I have Swedish language on my computer. Um, nothing I can help with, really. But it's mine. My IPv4 address is 1.192.168.1.4 uh, instead of one. And I had a server on 1.5 in the end, and that changed, and I, then uh, the thing just started to pop up like. Um, fail to bind port. So I checked some things and you know I discovered that this has changed from what I entered at my router. So once you have this number, copy it and you'll add a service or whatever it says on your router. Name it whatever you want, like Minecraft. You should enable TCP and UDP. Um, and the port 25565 25565 and the server IP uh, address is going to be the same as this it has to be so you enter 4 there as because it is a 4 there for me and you press apply or whatever it says now I already have one so it's going to say port conflict without a service once you've done that log out or close it I guess I have to close it and now open your ser server.properties file it should be in your server folder open it up yes, close that. there we go now look for where it says server IP in there you're gonna enter the same thing as it says there okay and the port you just you know put it to I'm not sure if you can put to whatever port you want but try to keep it as this 25565 now once you've done that, it should work. Um, tell me if I forgot some details or something and 
again guys uh, thank you for watching if you got any problems please comment it and I will make sure to answer it um, I'm active on this account it's just that I'm not uploading videos on it anymore I just have a lot of I have a lot of subscriptions on it and I don't want to start over you know by finding all the channels again and stuff but thanks a lot for watching and if you think that this helped you or anything and you want to be supportive like click I, I will put a few channels on annotations um, that I have that I probably will upload videos, videos in the future it would help a lot and yeah it just would help a lot if you did um, I don't really know what content I will upload really um, I wanna like I wanna open I wanna upload so many different stuff it's just that a lot of people they want a channel that keeps to one material, you know, like gameplays, then it has to be gameplays. Um, but I'm kind of uploading everything, all kind of stuff. I'm into music, uh, what could it be? You know, like animations, animating, and uh, what's not a thing? Um, motion graphics you know things like that photoshop you know I, I'm, I'm kind of into everything you know tech stuff and it really help a lot if you um, did something like that but if if you find this good um, give it this video a thumbs up and you know once I get a few thumbs up and see that I help people I might show you how to install bucket craft bucket Right now, I'm not sure if there's any bucket because you know, but since bucket is working with uh, Mojang right now, there might not be the same bucket anymore, and it will take a few longer time. But yeah, that's I'm not gonna talk anymore. Uh, thank you a lot for watching. Hope this helped you. Comment if you got any problems, and I'll make sure to contact contact you as fast as I can. Thank you so much. Goodbye.